Let's look now at selenium weight conditions. Selenium weights are used to control the flow of execution in selenium scripts and to handle dynamic web elements. We will look at implicit weight, explicit weight and fluent weight. Implicit weights apply globally to all elements. It tells the web driver to wait for a specified amount of time before throwing an exception if an element is not found. Let's see how can we use it. Manage timeouts. And here we can call the implicit weight and set the value. So simple as that. Here we set the implicit weight for 10 seconds before throwing an exception if an element is not found on the page. Let's give it a run. So this is a happy flow. We set the implicit weight and the web element is present on the page. Let's see now a case where, for example, we change this name to something which does not exist on the page. And let's give it a run. As we can see, this is still running and the duration is 11 seconds considering we had here the implicit weight set to 10 seconds and for example if we remove the implicit weight and give it a run now let's see what happens As we can see, the duration is one second. Let's revert this back as it was. And now let's have a look at explicit weight. Explicit weights can be set on a specific element and it tells the web driver to wait for a specified amount of time before a certain condition is met. For example, before an element is visible on page or before a page title is something we expect to be. And now let's see how can you use it. First, we have to create an object of WebDriver Wait class. And now we can define our condition. For example, we have here a condition which waits for the page title to be equal with web form. Or let's see a couple of more wait conditions, like let's wait for an element to be visible or let's wait for an element to be displayed on the page. And that's it. For example, condition number two, we make sure the element is present in the DOM or condition number three, we make sure the element is displayed on the page. And let's give it a run now. Everything is fine. Recommendation is to not mix implicit and explicit weights. Doing so can cause unpredictable wait times. And let's look now at fluent weight which is a type of explicit weight that allows for more control over the waiting conditions. It defines the maximum amount of time to wait for a condition as the explicit weight. And what's new is the thing we can set the frequency to check the condition. Let's see how can we use it. As for explicit weight, we have to create a web driver weight object. And here we can set the pooling interval, which is the frequency the condition is checked. So 
So this is our wait condition. We wait for a maximum value of 10 seconds, checking every second if the condition is met. And something else which we can set is ignoring some exception types. For example, here we ignore exception types HTTP request exception, but keep in mind this is very specific to the context we test. And if in some certain scenarios we want to ignore some exceptions, we can do that like we can see here. And now we can define our condition. And there is our wait fluent condition. We define the pooling interval. We also ignore some HTTP request exceptions. And here we are defining our condition, which is waiting until the title is web form. And let's give it a run. That's it for now. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.